Hello, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who've been here before, for those of you who have not, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another review on a survival tin from a company called Inch Survival Gear. You'll have to bear with me on the voiceover because I forgot to connect my microphone when I recorded the video. So anyway, as you can see, the survival tin is very nicely marketed. Graphics are very catchy and bright. Um, now inch, like I said, stands for I'm never coming home. I had to email the guy that owns the company to figure out what that meant because I couldn't find it posted anywhere. So anyway, uh, as you can see in the video, I appear to be talking with my hands. And like I said, I was talking, but my dumbass didn't plug in the microphone. So that's what I get. So anyway, the voiceover. I hate voiceovers, but what are you going to do? So the survival tent itself comes with all the stuff and inside the package you get this piece of paper that tells you what's in it. I'm not going to sit here and go through the whole thing, but I just wanted to show you that they do include it and it's very nice. Color, pictures, uh, you know, the titles of everything that's in there and what you can use it for. <clears throat> Pretty nice. You don't see that with all the survival kits out there. So there you have it. Anyway, if we can move along now, please. Thank you. All right. So we're fixing to get into the tin, and I'll tell you right now, it's the size of any other tin. It does come wrapped in shrink wrap plastic, which is nice too. Keeps it from opening up uh, on accident. And we'll open it up and see what's in it here. Ta-da! Lots of little stuff. So the first thing that we're going to see in there is going to be a piece of tissue paper. It's just round. It's not concave. Um, you can use this to filter coffee, filter water, uh, start a fire, anything you want piece of tissue paper excellent uh, could have a, a several different uses uh, I think most of your little survival kits have some sort of a tissue paper filter type thing in them uh, next thing we have in there are four of those things that I can't remember what they're called yeah zip ties <laughs> zip ties small zip ties so those come in handy Next thing we got in there <coughs> is a piece of wire. Uh, that wire can be used for making snares or anything else you need to use it for, binding things together and whatnot. Uh, pretty pretty self-explanatory. Next thing is a wire pull saw. Now the wire pull saws, I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, they, they don't do much, but if you don't have anything at all, they, they will definitely come in handy. Uh, very thin wire, so you gotta be careful. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, now this right here, I'm going to try and pause the video and I'm going to post uh, a, a clip that I did. That's actually a, a towel that's compacted into like a pill. And what it is is about 10 by 10, 9 by 9, something like that. You get it wet and it expands and then you unroll it. Very handy, very compact. I love those things. You buy them on Amazon for next to nothing. Next thing we have here is a button compass, pretty standard. Uh, this one, uh, in the video here, I was trying to decide whether that was a built-in whistle. It's not. All it is is a slot that you can slide onto like a watch band or, you know, tether it to something if you think you need to. Uh, handy, just cheap little plastic button compass. Better than nothing. So the next thing is this bag full of goodies, which I am not going to open right now. We'll get to that later. And there's our whistle looks more like a dog whistle I didn't even take it out of the package but uh, it's just a little whistle I'm sure once you blow on it it makes noise and that's what whistles do obviously so the whistle uh, next thing up is a triple antibiotic ointment that's gonna be good for dressing wounds before you put on your band-aids which you can see in the tin lip balm the thing about the lip balm is I'm not sure if that is actually a petroleum based lip balm but if it is you can use that to help start a fire it is pomegranate flavored too I might add which is a nice touch. Next is going to be some first aid burn cream. Uh, that's good for when you start your fire and you burn the heck out of yourself. Now you can fix it. <laughs> scalpel blade. Well, it's kind of interesting how they put the scalpel blade right on top of the band-aids. I think you know what that means. Yep. After you use your scalpel blade with no handle on it and cut your finger open, you have plenty of band-aids to fix yourself. That's right. <laughs> Oh, I cracked myself up. Okay, not really. All right, next thing we have two uh, pads of cotton. Those right there, 
put a little bit of that lip balm on them and man, you got yourself a fire. No problem. Excellent. Every survival kit should have cotton in it. Um, and then after that, we got some alcohol pads, um, you know, clean your instruments, clean your skin before you put your, uh, a triple antibiotic ointment on you, whatnot. Tin foil, tin foil, in my opinion, in a survival kit is best used for you at like a windbreak. If you have a small fire or a little stove, but you can use it for whatever you want. So inside this little bag, which I might add, nothing ever goes back in the way it came out. But, you know, I can't show you what's in it if I leave it in the bag. So I had to take it out. Well, inside here you have what was a little bit of a duct tape kind of wrapped around. And there's probably not a whole lot in there. But, uh, you know, was it worth putting that in there? Meh, you never know. Some water purification powder. Not a tablet, but powder. And that bag will do, uh, that little uh, container. Bleh. That will do one liter. There you go. Uh, next thing up, that's not tape. That's kind of like, uh, you know, like the surveyors use to, to tie off stakes, you know, so you can see them. It's just a bright plastic ribbon type thing. Uh, you can use that for signaling, tying things up, whatever you need to, so you don't lose your other stuff. Um, of course, that one's got a sewing needle stuck in it. I think that just happened by accident, but we'll get to that in a minute. Next thing, braided fishing line. Camouflage braided fishing line. Uh... Anybody who puts monofilament in a survival kit is wasting their time. Uh, braided fishing line is far superior in my opinion. Plus you can use it to sew your clothes with probably a lot better. Um, and this kit came with, you know, several hooks, a couple tiny ones, a couple larger ones, a handful of split shots, enough to get you catching some little sunfish or whatnot if you need to, maybe a small catfish or two. Um, and then the braided line obviously is going to be pretty strong more than likely. So hopefully you wouldn't lose your catch. But there you go. There's your fishing kit. Not too bad. Minimal, but, you know, you're not looking for a fishing pole in a tin. So a couple large safety pins. You can use those to keep your hooks on or whatever else. Um, four small safety pins. You can use those for same thing, smaller. Little ferrocium rod. Now, the ferrocium rod is small, so you're not going to get a lot of use out of it. And it may break fairly easily, so you'd have to be careful with it. But it is in there, so you'll need that to start your fires. And uh, we'll we'll get to what uh, what you strike that with here in a minute. P38 can opener, standard like you would find in uh, you know your old uh, MREs and whatnot. <clears throat> Use it to open cans if you have them. There's your sewing needle for sewing yourself up, sewing your clothes up, whatever you need to use it for. A um, couple buttons you need to repair your clothes. Maybe you've broken one. Now you can. Glow stick, so you can uh, tie it to things, find stuff at night, whatever you need to use it for. One time use, so make it worth it. If you have long hair, there you go. Or if you need to pick a lock and you're good enough, there you go. Uh, whatever else you can think of to use that thing for. Um, I don't know what I'd use it for, but I'm sure if you had it, you'd find a use. And then that thing. And I wasn't sure what that was. And then I found out, hey, you know what? I think that goes to the ferro rod. And it does. So I wasn't really 100% sure I didn't want to lie to you. Uh, so here in a second, I'll get that piece of paper out that tells you what it is and what it does. Waiting, waiting. All right. So here we're looking at the uh, contents and sure enough, fire starting kit. Now it doesn't really show a picture of it, but we have to assume that's what it is. I'm, I'm pretty certain of that. So you're a fire striker. Excellent. Okay, guys, you know, that's the kit minus the tin itself, and the tin itself is uh, a form tin, so it has no seam where two pieces of metal come together, so, you know, technically you could put water in it and maybe boil a little bit. It's very thin metal, so you need to be careful with it. Um, make some char cloth or something with it. It's got a sticker on top, too, so keep that in mind. You know, a sticker could start burning or melting or whatever, but, you know, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The uh, Inch Survival Gear Emergency Survival Tin. Um, I got it for $24.99 on Amazon. Um, I didn't see any on there here as of late, but they do have a website. Maybe they'll sell them on their website. I'm not really sure. Um, I bought this. I didn't. It wasn't sent to me or anything. I just thought it was kind of neat looking like the last one and decided to do a little review on it. So there you have it. The Inch Survival Kit. Is it worth your money? Yeah, you be the judge. But that's it, and that's all I got to say about it. So thanks for watching. 
please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions please let me know and y'all have a nice day